Hello and welcome to Gabbit Media. I'm Grant Abbott and today we're looking at bringing images into Blender that you can render. So this could be useful for posters or simple sides of buildings that you want to just put together or maybe a business card like I have today. If you like what I do then check out the description for more playlists and my courses. So I'm in the basic Blender, I'm using version 2.92 and my shortcut keys are down the corner here. Now you would think it would be as easy as clicking on your file and dragging it into your scene and it looks like it works, but actually this is just an empty, as you can see over here, an empty, and that's used for reference images. If you want to learn more about that, then check out my quick tips playlist. So I'll delete that. Instead, what we need is to enable an add-on that comes with Blender. So go up to Edit, Preferences, click on Add-ons over here, and then type in Image. And this is what you're looking for, Import Images as Planes. Make sure that's ticked, and then just close this down. Now what that gives us is an extra add to our Add menu. So we've got our Add menu up here, or you can press Shift A for short, and we've now got image, and we can import an image as a plane. Now when I click on that, I can go to my folders, find my file that I want, and we have actually got quite a lot of options down the side here. Most of them, if you hover over, they'll tell you what they are. Animate image sequences could be very useful if you want a video file to come in, but it does need to be a video sequence, so lots of separate files for each frame. This part's fairly important. It will come in hooked up to a principled BSDF, so it will react to lights in the scene. If you don't want that, then it's best to click on emit. Then it will appear just like it is here in your scene, regardless of what lighting you've got going on. Underneath, we've also got use alpha. I'll keep that tick for now, but you don't actually have to have it unless you've got some transparency in your image. But I'm going to show you how that hooks it up in the node editor. You can also offset the position here. So if I click import images planes, it comes in. It's behind my default cube at the moment. I'll delete that cube and there's the image as a plane. Now it looks like it hasn't worked, but actually we need to turn on material preview mode or rendered mode, and then we can see our business card there. There's a couple of things to note about this. It's two-sided. If you wanted another side to your business card, let's say, you could just import your other side and kind of paste it onto the back, or you can create a box and unwrap it. Check out my unwrapping playlist for more information on that. And if I come back round to the front, you can see that it is being affected by the light and it gets a sort of glare. Well, I'll go across the shading workspace to show you what's going on. So here's the shader editor, and it's created for us a principled BSDF, and it's plugged our image. I'll just move this up slightly and zoom in a bit. And this image is going into the color. And we've also got the alpha channel that I was talking about going into the alpha there. So if this had any transparency, we would be able to see through it because of this node setup. Now, if the glare is a bit of a problem, you can change things like the specular so that it's nice, crisp, and clear, but be careful of that because it becomes non-realistic. The other option that was available in the setup was having this as an emission, and that would look like this. So here's an emission strength of one, and you can see it's not affected by the lights. And if I go to render view and even turn off my light by hiding it, you can see it's still visible. But if I go through the principled BSDF now, you can see it's all dark. I'll press Alt H to unhide my light, and you can see it being influenced by it there. And material preview mode is what it looks like with a lot of light from the scene in the background. Now an important thing to know if you want to edit this image and crop it, let's say, and for this I've taken us to the UV image editing workspace, which puts us into edit mode, and I brought in a building picture in case you wanted to make buildings like this. Well, if I grab the corner vertex here and want to grab it in and pull it around, it actually edits the image plane and not the image. If I undo that though, now you can kind of crop the image. Now the best way to edit this is to know about UV editing, and again, you can find out about that in my UV editing playlist. If I go to edge mode with two on my keyboard or press edge mode up here, I can then select this edge. And if I press GG, that's edge slide. And I can actually crop the image by using the GG command to edge slide. And that's actually editing the UVs as well as the shape. If I come out of edit mode, I can then duplicate this with shift D and rotate it around the Z axis 90 degrees and start building a building. It's not the most effective building, but it could work for a simple game or animation. Okay, so that's bringing images in. Each time you bring an image in, it will create a new material for it like this. This one's called Monster Models, based on the name of the business card. Now I have been asked for a bit more of a detailed tutorial about business cards. Let me know if that's something you want to see. Maybe something like animating it, coming in and twisting around or something like that. Then comment below. Otherwise, thanks for watching, thanks for your support, and I'll see you next time.